Hi. In this video, Ask F5 shows you how to create a custom log rotate entry to rotate the UCS files using iControl REST. The Rotate Count option specifies the number of times the system rotates the files before removing them. When you configure log rotation, make sure you set the Rotate Count option to a number of file rotations that does not consume excessive disk space. The files I will rotate in this video are from the cron task we went over in the video automating a local UCS archive and sending a copy to a remote system. In this video, I will demonstrate the procedure using a big IP system, but you can use any remote system that can access the iControl REST API on the big IP system. Also, I will use the client URL command line tool, also referred to as curl, but you can use any client that can make the API call. To begin, log in to your remote system. Enter this syntax. You can copy and paste this syntax from the description section below this video. Here we have the username, password, and IP address of the big IP system you want to configure, and here is the rotate count. In this example, I pipe the command to the JQ utility to print the JSON response from the Big IP system. Select the Enter key to run the command. The system responds with the configuration, so we know it was successful. Enter this syntax to send the Save API call. This might take a minute. You can copy and paste this syntax from the description section below this video. The configuration was successfully saved. Enter this command to view the log rotate configuration and confirm that the changes were implemented. You can copy and paste this syntax from the description section below this video. I will now go back to the big IP system that we configured. I had previously printed the log rotate configuration and it was just the default. Now, if I enter list syslog rotate, the new log rotate configuration displays with the new changes. For additional information on creating a custom log rotate entry to rotate the UCS files, refer to the Ask F5 article K13418. A link to this article is in the description section below this video. And that's it. If you have other questions you'd like to see answered on this channel, leave a comment or send us an email. Thanks for watching.